Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Let's give God a hand clap of praise if you're happy to be in the house of the Lord. One more time. Amen and amen. We're going to start with praise and worship, but first with a quick word of prayer. Let us bow our heads for a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day, God. We thank you for a brand new mercy you have allowed us to see. God, we just thank you, oh God, for your presence in this place. God, have your way in this place, oh Lord. Touch each and every heart and mind that is watching, and even those who aren't in here today, God. We ask you, oh God, to let your presence flow in this place. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We know that the Lord is good, and his mercy endure forever and ever. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yeah. 
stand and let's give God a praise in this house. Amen. For the Lord is good. Amen. The Lord is good. Come on, let's give God a hallelujah praise. For he is good. Amen. Amen. And we thank God for the blessings of God. Amen. Glory be to God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
Amen. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. We can rejoice and to be glad in it. Yes. Amen and amen and amen. amen. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silent before him. For truly I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Yes. Let us be seated for the invocation. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And now the invocation. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. Good morning, Evans. Good morning. Amen. Let us look to the Lord. Our God and our Father, here we are. A few of your humble servants have gathered ourselves between these consecrated walls. Father God, we come because we love you. We come because we need you. We invoke your holy presence here, Father God, that you would fill this place with your holy presence, Father God. That you would allow the smoke of your goodness to fill this temple from top to bottom, front to rear, through and through, Lord God. We bind every hinder and power of the enemy, Lord God. Anything and everything that would prevent your children from praising and worshiping you. Give us that ability, Lord God, to praise you in the beauty of your holiness, Lord God. We bind every hinder and power of the enemy right now. And we loose your holy presence. Have your way in this place. Spirit of the living God. Fall afresh upon us Lord God. In the name of Jesus the Christ we do pray. And all of God's children said. Amen. Amen. amen, amen. And amen. amen. Wonderful. Yes. Thanks, uh, Reverend Blizzard, amen, for the invocation. It is now time, amen, we'll lift our voice in praise and in songs. We ask that we'll all now stand, amen. Hymn number 504, Blessed Assurance, Jesus is Mine. Yeah. Amen. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Yeah. Let us now lift our voice as we'll sing together, amen, Blessed Assurance. Thank you. 
Amen and amen. I ask that you remain standing as now Solari night will come to lead us in our amen affirmation of faith. And we apologize to her because we have Solara when we know it was Solari. Amen. So she's here. Amen. And we thank God for her. Amen. It's all right. Y'all pray with her. Amen. Amen. She's all right. Good morning. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the only Son of our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From this he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. God bless you. you. May be seated. Amen. Didn't she do a wonderful job? Come on, y'all give it to her. Amen. 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 Mom, I know you I know, I know you, amen. You're excited about that. Amen. And amen. To God be the glory. Amen. amen. We're going to now have our scripture lesson by another beautiful young lady. Amen. Shanisha is coming. Shanisha Hale's coming. Amen. And Amen. Set her up where where the really, uh, mic is. Okay. And then after that, amen, we're going to have prayer. Amen. By another rising star. Amen. And Miss Nakaya Brown. Amen. Bronco style. He will come. Amen. And render the prayer. Uh, amen. For this morning. So to God be the glory. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Because of your unbelief, for verily I said unto you, If ye have as faith as a mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder's place, and it shall remove. Nothing shall be impossible unto you. This was the reading of the word of the Lord. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Please protect them. Lord, thank you for just being good, Lord. Thank you for just being an awesome God. Yes. Thank you for just being great every single day. Yes. Thank you for just answering our prayers no matter how hard the circumstance may be. Yes. Thank you for just being an awesome, awesome God. Yes. And this is my prayer. Amen. Amen. Amen.
us give God a praise. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Amen. All right. Come on, y'all. Give, give it to our children. Amen. Amen. God, good Lord. Amen. If I seem like I'm excited, it's because I am. Amen. amen. To God be the glory. We are so thankful, amen, for what we are experiencing, amen, in the ch uh, service today. Uh, did you all notice the front of your uh, programs? It says, Youth and Children Kingdom Connection Sunday. Now, I am not sure if that will remain as the theme, amen, for Fourth Sunday. But I just want to let you know, amen, the children uh, director have said it's okay. I'm sure that, amen, the Christian education director will say it's okay. But whatever they decide, amen, we're going to let the Lord have his way. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And from here forth, okay, every fourth Sunday, which we have already or that already said is going to be dedicated to our children amen. amen as a matter of fact they even told the preacher amen you don't have to worry about preaching amen, amen. we're going to have a children's message from somebody whether it be clergy or lay amen so if you see me all dressed down on Sunday amen and I was telling Jarita I said one day I'm going to come walking in with a pair of jeans. Amen. And y'all can complain and laugh if you want to. Amen. But one of these days, amen, I'm going to come walking in my jeans. For fourth Sunday is going to be dressed down Sunday. Amen. I want you to look at somebody and say, amen. amen. Fourth Sunday is going to be dressed down Sunday. Amen and amen. So to God be the glory. We have visitors with us today as we looked out. I saw some as they came in from downstairs and amen. And uh, we saw some that came in from upstairs. And we do have those who have been invited. And we thank God. So if you are with us today for the first time, amen. We ask that you will just stand, amen, just to be recognized. And you don't have to, but if you do, amen. Hallelujah. There they are right there. Come on now. Y'all give God. God, amen. Now, you don't have to say anything, but if you'd like to just introduce yourself, amen, hallelujah, amen. I believe this uh, family here was uh, invited by uh, Letissa. I believe it is. Amen. I told them when I saw them, I said, Letitia will be up in the choir so you can listen for her singing. Amen. And so to God be the glory. Amen. Amen. But we thank you for coming today. And the other family was invited by Antoine. Amen. And uh, if they would like to grace us, we would appreciate that. Amen. Amen. Hey, Evans. How you doing? This is my amazing co-worker right here at the pharmacy. Um, Akita. This is her husband. These are two, they're two beautiful kids, uh, Bree and Ayana, and yeah. Amen. Amen. To God be the, the glory. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. And there's one over here, and she has a mic, and she will bless us. Amen. Good morning. How's everyone doing? Good Amen. Morning. I'm not a visitor, however, it's been a minute, so I just wanted to say greetings. Um, I am Pamela Trafton, my son Cameron Trafton from Jacksonville, North Carolina. And I am here visiting my sweet in-laws on their anniversary today. All right. All right. So Amen. Shout and special shout out, in case I have to leave early, Reverend Blizzard was my car salesman out of Fayetteville State. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> Amen. So, pleasure to be here. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. We are so glad to have you. Amen. You may be seated as Evan stand to give you all, amen, a welcome. Amen. Come on, Evans. Come on. Let, come on. Come on. Let's show some love. Show some love. Come on. Let's show some love. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. And you see this lady over here that's walking, okay? That's, that's First Lady. Amen. And amen. And we want to thank God for her. She got her jeans on today, y'all. Amen. And we thank God, amen, for her. All right, amen. And just to say to you, you will always be welcome here. Amen. You don't have to go look for another church. This is your church. If you want to claim that seat where you're at, it's yours, okay? Amen. Amen. And if they don't let you sit there the next time you come, you come tell me about it, okay? And we'll fix that up, okay? But you're always welcome. And it's good to see the children are here. Amen. That is our, amen, that is our focus, amen, for this time on, amen, to bring the children back to the church. So we are so thankful for that. Okay. We're also going to be doing some new things also, too, and we'll talk about it a little bit more in, the, uh, in our members' meeting, which is coming up on, uh, on uh, Wednesday evening, please. And uh, uh, we will be on our regular Zoom for that. There are some things that are in their leaders. We'll see you all on Zoom on, uh, on uh, Tuesday at 1 p.m. to join myself and the lead of leaders in our meeting. And there are some other things that are there. Uh, it was brought to my attention the dates were not set uh, put in there for the last two items which the checkup meeting is I believe it is the uh, the uh, first Saturday I believe it is in uh, in September okay so we're not that far away and the district conference is going to be right here at Evans on the 15th okay so let us set uh, set our hearts and our minds on that and uh, you're going to be seeing some, uh, some good things, amen, on Fort Sunday. But I'm going to let the uh, children's director, amen, Sister Brenda, come now, amen, to give us some more and to conduct, amen, this portion of the service. All right, Brenda, come on. Come on, Brenda. All right. Come on, Brenda. 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 Come on, Brenda.
or fairy, but David has five stones that he used to help him with his task. The first stone represented courage. David was not afraid to face the enemy. Don't worry about it, David told Saul. I'll go, go fight this Philistine. You will see me use my courage to fight this Philistine, and you can have courage in life. The second stone represented confidence. <clears throat> As a shepherd boy, David protected his sheep from wild animals. He had the confidence to face Goliath because the Lord allowed him to save his sheep from the lions and the bear. Did, did David, like David, you have confidence that the Lord will help you overcome your problems? Yes. The third stone is preparation. Mm. Preparation. David didn't face the giant unprepared. All right. He went to the stream and got and collected those five stones. They were five smooth stones. He was armed with his slingshot and he went to fight Goliath. It is important to be prepared to face the challenges in life. Mm -hmm. You will face some on tomorrow morning when you go to school. Well. So be prepared helps you to take care of all of your challenges. The fourth stone represents trust. David didn't trust in his own abilities. When Goliath stood at David's feet and said, I will kill you, David said, you come with me. You come to me with a sword and spear. I come to you in the name of Jesus Almighty. Mm -hmm. And when he faced his problems, God helped him with his abilities. The fifth stone represents victory. It's God's battle and not ours, David said. That's why David had the victory over the giant with only a stone and a slingshot. Mm -hmm. When you turn your battles over to God, you'll have the victory over the giants in your life. Mm -hmm. Sister Hill, play my theme song. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I got that. I got the victory. Yeah, yeah. And that's our theme song. Yeah. So the next time that you're facing a giant in your life, remember David and Goliath and the five smooth stones. Courage, confidence, Preparation, trust, and victory. Amen. Let us pray. Dear God, just as you gave David the victory in his battle with Goliath, mm -hmm. we know that when we put our trust in you, you will give us the victory over the giants that we face mm -hmm. every day in our life. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, boys and girls. We are going to school tomorrow, and you're going to remember that you got the victory and that you're going to trust God to walk with you. So you got what? Victory. victory. All right. Uh, we have a little challenge that we're going to show you. We've got some young, uh, young men who felt it important that they share their talents with you. So, Amen. Sister here. Oh.
talent. So we're going to have talent on the fourth Sunday. So get just your talent off. All right. And get ready. Amen. 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 Come on, let's let's give uh, Sister Amen Freeman a hand. Amen. Amen. You can see there's going to be a shift in the atmosphere. Amen. Amen. We're shifting our focus to our younger folks. Of course, now, amen, we'll always love our seniors. Amen. But we want to, amen, let go and let God have his way with the young folks. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. So, and it does not have to be a video. Amen. You can come live right here. Amen. And show us your talent. Amen. Amen. We want it live. Uh, Sister Linda is saying, amen. She wants it live. So, amen. For we want to draw every young soul that there is. Amen. For we're living in a day and time where folks would rather do other things. But God knows. Amen. The Lord has uh, use for all of God's children. Amen. Amen. All right. I want to do something real quickly, quickly before we move on. The stewards, you can get yourself ready. But yesterday we had the back to school jam. And to me, it was such a successful, amen, event. And I just want to recognize, amen, the few that were kind of uh, spearheaded this, amen, between the lay council and the Christian education department, amen. Uh, Sister Brown, amen, president of the lay council, amen. Will you stand to be recognized, amen. Hallelujah. The mastermind, amen. Amen. In concert with our Christian Education Director, Sister Stokes, if you will. Amen. Yes, absolutely. Amen. And we are so thankful to Brother Kenny, uh, amen, head of the culinary department that fed us on yesterday with all of those that were there. Uh, we had uh, Sister Ruby uh, Figaro and Dr. Franklin Carver that was receiving, amen, registrations, voter registration. So we had that going on yesterday. Amen. And we are thankful for that. And then also, too, amen, I saw Latissa and, uh, and Sister Brown. They were making, uh, what do you call that thing? Uh, candy. Uh, amen. Y'all know what that thing is. Amen. All right, there it is. Cotton candy, y'all. Amen. And who else? And Brother Brown. Amen. And I told him I was going to give him uh, uh, about 10 seconds to tell me what he did. Let the body of Christ say amen. 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 Oh, it was such a wonderful day yesterday. We signed up 15 families who wanted mentoring for their children. And you could see the look in the parents' eyes. They were so thrilled that we were going to initiate a mentoring program to step in and do special things and call and check on their children. They even took forms home and said, I have friends in my neighborhood who would love this program. This week, I'm going to uh, take those forms and call those parents and reassure those parents that we are going to match those kids up with a mentor. I also got a call back from Cumberland County Sheriff's Department who said, Mr. Brown, we are interested. We saw the program before, and we're going to we're going to step up and try to help you as much as we possibly can. So if you are an individual in high school or college sitting here today, uh, I ask that you stop and get one of these mentorship forms. We truly could help you. You really could help these young children who are in elementary school or middle school who need some special guidance, some special attention someone to help them make the right decisions, decisions that someone help you make. So stop by and pick up a mentor's form, fill it out and turn it back in. Uh, and I'm going to start the pairing process in late September when I bring the sheriff, the, cap, sheriff, the sheriff department in and the families in, introduce the entire program and the expectations and the 
vision of the program and pair those parents with those uh, children with these mentors. So I sincerely appreciate your help in this program. And Ed, it's like I said initially, we're the cornerstone. No one else has it but us in this house. And we plan to do it. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. As you can see, we're moving forward. Amen. Uh, there's one more to be recognized. Sister Hill, please stand. Amen. Along with Cassell and Mackay, because on yesterday they had the uh, station where, amen, when folks were checking in, it was kind of like a welcome station where she was able to show, amen, a little. Um, uh, what do they call them things? A uh, uh, little barcode. Amen. Yes. And uh, she was able to have 32 that signed up. See, look back there. Amen. And when you leave, amen, you can see that. Take a picture of that with your telephone, and it will lead you directly to what, amen, our church is all about. So we are so thankful for them. And 32 families signed up. We have their names. We have their addresses, their email, and we're going to be sending out welcome letters and thank you letters to them. So amen. And last week I stood right there and tell you that the pews are going to be filled for the Lord has given that vision and we thank God for that vision. Amen and amen. All right. But we know that ministry cannot operate without money. So, amen, we are just asking now that you prepare your hearts and minds for giving, as now the stewards will come to receive our tithe, our offerings. Amen. And as we give, let us give liberally. y'all look at y'all program top left um, top right corner I believe now uh, it says what time is the church you read that off after we speak it so what time is the church it's it's time. Time. It's time. It's time. all right let us pray dear heavenly most gracious father oh lord we come here with thanks and giving oh lord lord you brought our minds and bodies and spirits prepared for a word today oh lord for the youth for the adults and for our elders oh lord but we are thankful for all you've done, all the blessings you've given to our life, and we thank you for the people that you put in our lives, O oh Lord, for the youth, the adults, and the elders. This is thy name we pray. Amen. Amen. The greatness. The greatness of the Lord is And greatly to 
Thank you, and Lord. we pray that the Lord will just continue, amen, to bless you in, uh, amen, such a way, amen, that you may receive it, amen, in uh, measures that are pressed down, shaken together, and uh, running over, amen. We are now, amen, to receive the youth children uh, message today, our own, amen, Ms. Jerita Waters will bless us on today. Amen. Uh, when we were talking about, amen, this uh, new uh, era that we're getting ready to enter, amen, the uh, board thought that we ought to use, amen, whether lay or clergy, to bring the message on this day. So we chose Jerita. And she was looking like, me? <laughs> and of course, you know, the response was, yeah, you. <laughs> but she gladly accepted, amen, and I believe she has prepared well. You have heard her speak before. I believe, amen, she has been blessed with both gifts and graces to bring a word from on high, amen. amen. And we are so thankful for her. Amen. Uh, not only, amen, a Miss Do It All, but also our wonderful musician. Amen. And we are so thankful for that. Amen. Uh, amen. As all are, amen, I believe that she is a blessing to the church. Amen. And she, she got a backup behind her, okay? You know, the one that keeps us in step. That's uh, Brother Tyrone. And it's always good to lift up our Tyrone. Amen. Amen. And of course, our bugler. Amen. You know, amen. You know, Brother Cleveland, he, he got it going on too, don't he? But we are so thankful. Amen. And also behind me, amen, the uh, Jackie Hale Sap Choir. Come on now, somebody. Amen. Right. To God be the glory. Amen. Right. And also, what's good about it, of course, all the young ones are here today, but ah, the president is back. Amen. Right. Sister Gloria Ha Jeffries. Amen. And we thank God. Amen. She says she's walking for the Lord. Amen. And we're thankful. Amen. Well, they're going to come and to register and to give us, amen, our pre-message and song. And then thereafter that, the next voice that you will hear will be that, amen, of our wonderful musician, amen, and a very lovely lady, Sister Jerita Waters. Let us give them a hand to receive them now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Pastor, for that wonderful introduction. How many of y'all know that no weapon formed against us shall prosper? Yeah. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Amen. And this summer has been an interesting summer for all of us. I know at some point, if the enemy has tried to tear us down, but it won't work. No weapon that's formed will not work. Through the fire through the flood, through the valley, through the mud, I won't worry, and I won't fear, cause no
shall prosper. That was a tough one right there, just thinking about the goodness of Jesus and many times that I've driven on the road and so many things that could have happened. But God blocked those things from happening. God blocked it. We know that no weapon that's formed against that shall prosper. Amen. I'm nervous, y'all. This is different from sitting behind a keyboard. <laughs> but to God be the glory. I'm um, giving honor to God, to my pastor, Reverend Selvin A. Lindo. Um, oh, I'm locking the screen. Give me a moment. There we go. Giving honor to God, to Pastor Reverend Selvin A. Lindo, and his beautiful wife, Sister Bethania Lindo, Praise and her Lord. wonderful sister, Sister Jackson. <laughs> as well as pulpit associates, Reverend Ernest Blizzard, Bless and you. Reverend Urban Drake in his absence. I would like to also recognize my church family, and everyone who is here this morning and those who are watching, hello mom, dad, hello everyone, family, everybody who's watching, Amen. everyone Amen. in Facebook land. And I want to give a special shout out to our youth and children. Let's give them a round of applause. Yeah. They are so special to me. As you know, I, I'm a former middle school teacher, so I, I love I love the youth, I love the children. They make me feel young, keep me young, keep me going. Um, but we know that they are getting ready to embark into another wonderful school year. Isn't that right, young folks? Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'll get excited for you. <laughs> and I have been placed with the task of encouraging them this morning and with the back to school moment. And I pray that someone is encouraged today. I'm going to be honest, it was hard preparing for this, um, being in doctorate school because all my papers are long. <laughs> so, um, I don't think I had any short paper, so this I had to take a step back and say, oh, no, 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 you cannot have a sermon. <laughs> That's Reverend Lindo's and Reverend, Reverend Blizzard's job. But before I start, let us start with a word of prayer. Let us bow our heads. 
Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you, O oh God, for this day. We thank you, O oh God, for giving me the opportunity to stand before your youth and your children and your adults and everyone who's watching, God. I thank you for the opportunity to encourage, to share a word, O oh God, that someone may be, be, be blessed by what you have given me, O oh God. Lord, I ask you to calm my nerves, to clear my heart, to clear my mind, and keep me reminded that everything is okay. And we give you the glory, honor, and praise for your blessing.